Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going with a beautiful blonde bombshell vibe. This one comes courtesy of Asha Mary Hair and they sent over this beautiful blonde and it does have a little bit of that ash that I love so much. It's giving a Barbie vibe in honor of like all of the Barbie craze that's been going on lately and I definitely hooked her up installed her for beginners I used a glueless adhesive and look how beautiful and flawless the lace is I did minimal detail to get this look and we definitely executed her amazingly so I'm not going to talk you guys to death we did go ahead and add some curls and we did use a super affordable uh, wand curler under 30 bucks from Target I'll have it in the description box I have everything in the description box but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video Okay, ladies, you guys know the deal. Starting off with the Meek Mill braids, I'm going to go ahead and put an HD wig cap over top. And then I'm going to buff a foundation powder in my own complexion shade on top. This is going to make it to customize the wig cap to be my color or, you know, close enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and take care of my edges so that they don't peep out in this wig because we are going blonde. This one is from Asha Mary and it is a blonde biolage 13 by 4 lace front wig. The texture is body wave and it's 26 inches in length. It's also 250% density and I love how well like the blonde highlight goes because it's kind of like a little bit of 613 in there, a little bit of ash in there. It's a little bit of like all the shades of blonde, but it's perfectly done so that the root is technically like a darker ash root, which is going to help it to blend a little bit with my cocoa complexion. I'm going to pull everything back and begin the install process. Now you can use an eyebrow razor, you can tweeze out the hairline, you can go in and customize the roots to make them even darker if you like. I think they're perfect and they were actually pre-plugged to perfection. This one actually melts into my complexion which is rare. I also love the fact that this one actually fits on my head pretty glueless. Because it's a frontal, I'm going to still go ahead and bond it down in a glueless way with a extra hold hairspray but I am going to bond it down so I do this method where I do like two uh I guess like layers if you will add a little bit of the product put the lace on top to kind of sop it up and then add a second second layer and this is what gets it juicy enough to bond it down without it lifting all day and then I'm going to blow dry on a cool setting get a load of how beautiful this one melts into my complexion I never thought I would see a blonde lace wig without like a super dark brown or super black root that would blend with my complexion and this one does just that so I definitely am going to do no baby hair to really really set it off here I am trying it out as a center part and at this point I decided I was going to do like this flip over method I was also trying out to see if I wanted to do a half up half down and I really like that for versatility as well so here I am again deciding not to do any um parting which you guys probably seen in the intro I am going to go with the center part I love the way it came out but originally again I was going for like a flip over method no part situation so I did the dynamic duo only in the hairline at this step I mean you guys as can see I didn't have to tweeze out anything at all and then again this one is a body wave texture but to turn it up a notch I did go ahead with the wand curler and just put some loose curls in it honestly I wasn't really worried about um, adding a whole lot of texture um, I do find that with blonde hair and just color process hair in general um, it is going to take a little bit more for it to hold so if you really want some tight curls make sure that you use like a hairspray um, and even do like pin curls or flexi rods to really seal in those curls but again I just wanted a little bit more texture than body wave so I really didn't do heavy heat passes and really care about uh, you know super hairspraying it up or anything like that now one thing that works like magic is doing these two pieces up top on top of the head this gave me the perfect waterfall that I always crave so much so I have to make a mental note to always do those top pieces up top exactly as I did to get the look especially when I want like the feather bangs you guys know that's my favorite in my jam I did the opposite side as well and again I love how they incorporated like the balayage of blonde where you literally have every shade of blonde in this one look now here I was with the flip over and I decided I just didn't love it as much as I thought I would so I just went ahead and brushed it out a little bit to see what I was given with the curls the curls were definitely given especially up top with all of that texture texture and again I was trying to figure it out but I was like maybe I don't want the flip over method so I just went ahead and parted it down the center and boom she popped so 
much that I was just like, this is my calling. This is where I'm meant to be. This is giving hot girl summer. This is giving we outside. I definitely love, love, love the way this came out. And again, I do think that it was an even better effect by um, curling it on top of my head the way I did. Now you guys can see once I stamped it out with the dynamic duo, I'm going to go in and tint the lace. This was the only error I made. You guys know this is one of my favorite foundation or cream foundation products to use in the lace. And you guys can see it definitely gave orange, way too orange. I also put the Maybelline Fit Me 362, I think, in the hairline. And that worked fine, but that foundation powder was a little bit too orange, so I'll fix that off camera. Still beautiful though, right? Absolutely gorgeous, and it's in the description box. Okay, really quickly, ladies, we are done with the look. I was initially going for a no part look, but at the 11th hour, I decided to just see what it would look like since I did a little quick curl to it, and I love it. I think I found the way to get the perfect feather, which is to curl the hair up. Now, I'm seeing, obviously, other girls do it that way, and even I have tried it that way, but for today, it really, 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 really set it off, especially with this color. Now, this one did come courtesy of Ash and Mary, and I do have the packaging here. It's this beautiful blue color with the silver detail, and it's absolutely gorgeous, great quality, and you can find them on all socials at Ash and Mary Hair, so make sure you check them out everywhere. When I opened up my package, obviously the wig was up top, but below that we did have a beautiful uh, robe that actually matches their packaging. And we also have a milk belt that matches. You guys know I am all for a matchy-matchy moment. And then some other goodies that included was a blue baby hair brush, an eyebrow razor, which is perfect for getting the perfect cut on your lace pack of lashes which is the perfect like natural wispy situation and then of course they gave us the hd invisible caps i love the fact that majority of companies are now going for the hd invisible caps opposed to the old school ones because they just are so much better but i love that for me i'm not going to talk too much on this one because you guys can already see how beautiful she is now the key for me is that typically i over brush i over comb and i over touch my hair so the goal is not to touch my hair too much and Kind of clocking myself i can't well i can't find the belt don't have the belt to my robe it's actually in uh this basket of laundry i need to fold so i used a belt from another robe but this one is absolutely gorgeous the hair is definitely brown girl friendly if you know how to pull it off i'm completely impressed with the hairline and how natural it looks uh without even adding anything now you guys can see i added just a little bit of the maybelline fit me in 362 truffle and i was scared to do that because the lace was so invisible without doing anything that i just knew that i was going to mess it up and make it too orange or too something if i would have added product and i'm happy that i kind of did a little bit but i really didn't because i definitely would have messed it up and it's absolutely flawless which is hard to come by when it comes to your blonde and your balayages and your ash browns ash blondes it's hard to come by lace that is brown girl friendly with these light colors and they definitely hit it on the nail as far as the parting go i did go ahead and warm it up i used the cream foundation that i've been using consistently lately and i kind of sort of wish i would have went for the old faithful which is the uh, Too faced born this way concealer in chai because this one does come up a little bit too orange in the parting and i think the chai would have been a little bit more cool tone so that's just a subtle thing um It'll be easy to fix. I can just take a makeup uh, wipe and just use my, you know, put the wipe here and just remove it and it'll come right up and I'll be able to replace it with something else. It honestly didn't need much of anything in the lace either, but I just wanted it to give a skin like appearance. But again, it's all about trial and error because one, what works for one lace may not work for another and this was a case. You guys see I went no baby hair with this look, so definitely love it on this one. Go ahead and check her out. I have a direct link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches